Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Welcome back to Tony's House of Horror. Hope everybody is finding some great horror uh, DVDs and Blu-rays out there, and even 4Ks, and maybe just uh, find some great stuff that you guys really like to collect and enjoy when it comes to movies. Uh, I want to give a big, huge shout out to Katie. You know, um, she's done a, a few videos that really just touched my heart, and uh, you know. Uh, she's just uh, a, a, an amazing person, in, in my opinion, out here and in, 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 you know, on YouTube and, you know, having her own channel and collecting movies, which she loves to do, preferably horror movies, but she buys other things and shows other things too, you know, so um, big shots out to Katie, man, you know, um, uh, I've just been watching a few of her videos, she just did a really great uh, video recently of um, stuff she has picked up. Uh, great stuff that she's picked up. So uh, great job, Katie, on, on your finds. Really awesome stuff you have. So check out Katie's channel. She's very nice. And um, and what, what really makes Katie authentic, to be honest with you guys, about her channel is her cats. <laughs> her cats add more ambiance, you know, to the way she makes her video and her originality of her channel. You know, the cats are part of, of Katie's channel. You know what I mean? They just are. They're part of it. You know, with them getting in the way, <laughs> I like it. I think it's cool that the cats, you know, they want to be noticeable, you know, because they, they love her. That's her, that's her, you might as well say they're her children, you know, the cats, man. And it's really cool that uh, they, they come in and out of the camera sometimes, and sometimes she has to pause it, and sometimes she might not have to, but it's cool to see her cats, you know, uh, why she does her videos. So uh, big shots out uh, to Katie, man. Um, uh, I'll be talking to you soon, Katie. Um, I'm glad you're finding some great movies for awesome prices. You know, 50 cents is, is a really good price to find DVDs right now, especially in this time and era where stuff is expensive. So it's good to even find, even if it is a DVD, it doesn't matter. If it's 50 cents, man, you're going to pick it up regardless. You know what I mean? So that's pretty awesome. So big shots out to Katie. And also big shots out to Miranda. Miranda does a lot of great videos and pickups from. Uh, I think she goes to half price books and um, Barnes and Nobles, different different places like that online, you know, so I check out her videos when I get a chance. Also, big shout out to her, Mr. Dan Cheetah, along with a lot of people out here that just pick up and talk about great movies, horror movies, too, and interviews they do and stuff like that. So big shout out to all you guys. I really uh, appreciate you guys out here in, in the world of collecting uh a, uh, DVDs and Blu-rays and, you know, um, 4K movies. So, guys, I do have a small pickups here um, that I picked up. And first, we're going to go through the horror movies first because there's not many. I didn't really see many out in the wild. I went out to go shopping and to try to find some, you know. The other one where I did the, the horror video, most of those were actually I ordered those. I do have some more on my radar that I'm going to be ordering, guys. So it's going to be more of a horror fest showing next time. It might not be a ton, guys. I'm not sure because a, a lot of that stuff that I want to collect today, those old vintage, like, rare 80s, uh, mid-70s horror gore movies, they're expensive. So, you know, or even early 90s, they're, they're expensive. Even on Blu-ray, sometimes they're even more expensive, believe it or not, on DVD than the Blu-ray which is, it's, it's crazy, but that's the way it is, you know, so there will be more videos like that, guys, but uh, for right now, I have a few horror movies, and I have um, so, uh, a box set that I'm starting to collect for that I hope you guys will enjoy, you know what I mean, um, you'll see in the video, so um, let's get to it, guys, let's see what I, I got, so I was at um, Big -A Lots last week, and I found a movie a DVD for 75 cents and I believe it's a horror movie so let's just get on with it uh, I think it's called Banshee Chapters or Banshee Chapters it says three dollars on here but it was 75 cents I left a sticker on there and it looks like a great horror movie it's, uh, from the producers of uh, Megan Call I'm new to this guy so if you know anything about it, let me know it says uh um, terrifying and the cover's kind of cool. Looks kind of cool. Looks interesting. But this was seventy-five cents at Bigalots. So if you guys know anything about this movie, 
uh, in the comment section. You guys are great. I want I want to give a shout out to you guys. You guys give me so much information um, and knowledge when it comes to some of these these movies that I don't know about. You know, you really do in the comment section. So big shouts out to you guys. Keep up the good work, guys. I really appreciate you guys a lot. When you comment in my comment section, that is awesome. You know, so if you guys know anything about this movie, let me know. As you see down there, it was 75 cents. Lately, Big A Lot's been having a lot of 75 cent movies. They have. They might not be, preferably might not be something you like. Some of them might be a lot of a, copies of something they have and they're trying to get rid of. But every once in a while, you will find something that you might like for 75 cents that there might only be one or two copies of. So it's good to go there and, and frequently check your local big lots because you can find them for a, a dollar, even a dollar cheaper than the, the dollar twenty five store. You can find it for a buck at big lots, you know, or even cheaper like this for seventy five cents. So I like the cover. The cover is pretty cool. I'm going to check it out. The back has a little bit more of a description of the movie on the back. But if you guys have heard of this, let me know in the comment section if you if you watched it and own it and what you think about it so yeah that's my first horror movie to show you guys next one here i got at cvs <laughs> i went into cvs to get something and i decided to look through their uh movie bin this was actually um 4.99 um and I didn't I don't think there was a coupon this time, but I didn't I didn't really care. I just thought it was interesting to get because it came included with something. And it is um Night of the Living Dead Reanimation, if I'm saying that right, with classic 3D or it says 2D plus 3D. <laughs> and uh I picked it up, you know. Um I, I don't have this, and it's Night of the Living Dead 3D. So I picked that up at uh, CVS. So I don't know if it's going to be cheesy. I don't know much about this one. So if you guys know anything about this one, guys, let me know in the comment sections below. But I did pick it up. It's not a bad price for, for a, a DVD. I'm, I'm kind of trying to sway towards more Blu-rays. But if it's something that I don't have when it has to do with Night of the Living Dead in my collection. I'm going to pick it up because George Romero, he's um, mostly known from Pittsburgh, you know, and uh, made great movies here. Night of the Living Dead, the classic, you know, and different things like that. So, yeah, and that's why I picked it up. And as you can see, it does have the glasses included in there. So, yeah, I'm going to maybe check this out, even though I have 4K TVs. <laughs> You know, um, maybe it'll still work. I, I don't know, you know, but yeah. But I'm I'm going to add this to my collection because it's Night of the Living Dead. So I'm going to check this out. That's the back of it. You know, a little bit more description of uh, the movie. So I pick that up there to add to the um, collection. Let me put these over here. This one I actually got from Thrift, uh, Thrift Books. I didn't have this in my collection. It is the DVD. And it is um, Tales from the Dark Side, the movie. The case is a little beat up, but it was actually a good price. So it's Tales uh, from the Dark Side, the movie. My friend said he used to own this, but lost it. He said it was very, very good. I had tell, I used to watch Tales of the Dark Side, the series. But this is the movie. I don't remember seeing the movie. I might have seen it and forgot about it when I was younger. I might have forgot about uh seeing the movie i believe i never did own the movie but uh i did pick this up from um half um thrift books you know online they've been having some pretty decent if you go through the horror section they have decent sales if you if it's a movie you really want and you don't want to pay the prices and you can find it used that's one of the places to go you know what i mean it's thrift books so yeah so i'm going to check this out um Maybe today or tomorrow. I can't remember watching this at all. But the back is kind of cool. You know, it has a little picture of a little demon dude on there and everything like that. So, yeah, I'm going going to check it out probably um, this weekend. Looks like there's a lot of different stars in here. Ray Dong Chong is uh, in here. Uh, what is it? William Hackey. 
So there's a, a few different uh, uh, stars that are actually in uh, this, this, this movie. So yeah, I'm going to check that out. Now, I did pick up an old school. Now, we're done with the horror movies. We're kind of done with the horror movies, guys. <laughs> so I didn't, like I said, I didn't really find much this time. I'm going to search hard because October's coming up. I'm, I would say in the September, middle of September through October, we'll probably start finding more horror movies. Like my like uh, my friend Katie said, um, the Dollar Tree really hasn't really been having anything, which is true. You know, they just really haven't been having much of anything. It's stuff that's been there for almost two years, to be honest with you, that's still there that they're trying to get rid of. You know what I mean? So it's it's really hard to find something. You might find one or two things. Like I found that King Kong pack. I mean, it's really hard to find stuff right now. You know what I mean? And I found the nun on Blu-ray. So, I mean, it's it's very scarce when it comes to the horror movies uh, that um, Dollar Tree gets. So the next one I have here is just a, something I wanted to get. It was really cheap at, um, at Half Price Books. It was part of my childhood growing up. It was a great TV series that I really enjoyed uh, growing up. You know, it was a funny TV series. They don't make old school TV series like that because I'm an, an OG out here, you know, when it comes to uh, retro uh, TV shows and stuff like that. So I'm trying to collect a lot of retro, to be honest with you, TV shows and series that I grew up with. And this is, it's, I might laugh, but it was three bucks. It's the complete first, or is it second season? The complete first and second, I don't know if I read that right. I didn't want to take the sticker off. The, the complete first and second season of The Facts of Life. It's The Facts of Life, guys. A lot of us that are in my age bracket grew up watching shows like this. Silver Spoons and Different Strokes and Facts of Life and different shows like that in the early 80s, late 70s, early 80s. So. It was a great show back then. It was a good show about these girls that lived in a dorm with Mrs. Garrett right there. You know what I mean? And um, it was a great show. This was three bucks, and it's just the first and second season. It was only um, three dollars. You know, had it on their stand outside of uh, of uh, half price books. So I wanted to pick it up because I don't own no facts of life at all. When I would go look for some of these retro shows, they wanted these outrageous prices for them on Amazon and different places like that. So I'm just glad to, to own it for three bucks. I was not going to leave that sit there whatsoever because I like going back and watching these retro shows. The shows of today are just not sitcoms and, and funny shows. They're just, to me, they're just not funny guys. They're to me, a lot of, a lot of these shows these days lost originality, uh, realism when it comes to, uh, world problems or problems with uh uh people in general it, it just it's just not in depth like these old shows were back in the day so that is the facts of life now on to the box sets guys i've been i'm trying to collect all of these and first i'm going to show you the first two i collected over or maybe over a year ago because i couldn't find the rest of them um for a good price, to be honest with you, or they just weren't out in the wild. So the first ones I'm going to show you is, and you're and you're going to see what I'm I'm collecting for. I'm trying to collect these late '90s, early 2000s, or like '90s retro shows because, to be honest with you, from the '80s to the '90s when they had these uh these um these series, they were really good. Like I have the whole complete series of of the show called Charm with. Holly Marie Combs in it, and and uh, who and that she's my favorite. So I always remember Holly Marie Combs, and uh, uh, man, who else is there? Oh, man, I can't think of her name right now. That's a shame. I can't think of their names right now. Um, I can't think of her name right now, man. I can't think of her name. The only one that's coming to mind is Holly Marie Combs. All right, the charm ones, and I have the complete set. I have the, 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 the complete set. And I found them really at a very good price, to be honest with you, from different places, you know. So this one I'm collecting for is, um, this is the complete third season and the complete fourth season. And that is Buffy the Vampire Slayer. 
So I'm trying to find shows like this. Like I'm trying to collect different ones back in those time era that you would always just see on TV, like Xena. You know, I have a few Xena collections. Different ones like that because it started getting like really like out of sorts when it started getting to in the late 2000s. There wasn't really any good shows in my opinion. There were good series, you know, like Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I never really, I used to watch them a little bit on TV, but not much. So I want to get into watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer. These were around back in the days, I believe, when Charm was around. And uh, what's the other one called? Um, what is it called, man? Supernatural. You know, different shows like that. So I found these first a, over a year ago. So the come to fruition today, all right, I found at Half Price Books, off phenomenal prices on um, some of the collection of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. So the first one was $7.99. The next one up was like $10.99. You know, but I got the seven ninety one one safe for me, and it's Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the complete first season. Great cover with her on the front and on the back. So that is uh, season one of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. So now I can start watching it from the beginning. Like I'm collecting Babylon 5, but I don't have the first and second seasons. When I go look for them, they're expensive. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to find them out in the wild, you know, before I have to go and do that. And I'm going to do my research a little more. And my friends are telling me that Babylon 5 is a really good series. So I'm trying to find those also good sci-fi series. The next one here I got for, uh, what do we got here? Oh, yeah. Okay. It's another one, um, the complete second season which was also $7.99. Good cover, you know, good cover and stuff on here. You know what I mean? Great uh, slide out, you know, with all the DVDs inside there. You know, uh, the guy also checked every last DVD for me to make sure they weren't scratched. They were in flawless condition. You know what I mean? They didn't they have no scratches on them at all. That was $7.99. So I also picked that one up the second season. And I also picked up, which one is this one? Just a second. And the, yeah, this is the complete fifth season. I actually got this from Thrift Books for $4.99. That also came in the other day. So that's another one of the Buffies that, um, that I'm going to be watching. I got a lot of Buffies to watch, man. So... This is going to take a while, <laughs> a long while. So, yeah, I want to get into watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer. A lot of people liked Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and they had a really cool video game that was on the original Xbox that I really enjoyed, but I never really got into watching the series. So now I'm going to get into watching the series and see how good it is. Like I said, it would come on TV, and I would watch little bits and parts of it, but I never watched it all the way through. So, yeah, that's another one I got there. And last but not least, I know there's more. I got to get the rest. And I actually got this for $3. Yes, $3. The complete sixth, sixth season of Buffy the Vampire Slayer at Half Price Books. Three bucks for a box set. So you really cannot beat that. And they had more up there, actually, for 3 or $4. But they were ones that I already showed you that I already have. So now I just have to get the rest of them. So this is the complete sixth season. How many seasons is there, guys? Is it seven and eight? So I'm going to have to go back up there and check and, 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 and make sure. But it is the collector's edition, which is really, really, really awesome. So it is Buffy the Vampire Slayer, man. So And that's about it, guys. That's all that I, uh, that I got to show you today. Um, Oh, yeah, there is one more I will show you. Now, this is an, an old, I will show you this. You guys might not be interested in it, but I actually watched this on TV halfway through, and then I had to go to work, but I, I, I wanted to own this because it was a good film, you know. It was uh, directed by uh, Moonstruck. Now, this is a regular, like, suspense story film about a um a soldier it's called a soldier story and this was actually pretty goddamn good it had some really good 
actors that were in it. And I paid, I think I paid $2.99 for this, but I actually want to watch it all the way through. Um, again, you know, because I seen it a long time ago. It was about uh racism in the army back in the early days. And it's really good. You it's it's very kind of like a an educational kind of like movie. It lets you know how things were back in the day, how people lived back in the day that were in the army, you know, and different things like that. So this is a soldier story. So I'm going to check this out with an actor named Harold Rollins that was in In the Heat of the Night, which is another series I'm trying to collect that is so super expensive. I got the first season, guys. I kid you not. I found the first season years ago, like five years ago. For ten dollars, I go back on Amazon. The first season is sixty bucks, sixty dollars. So imagine the second, third, fourth seasons of that show. I look some of them up; they're eighty dollars, seventy-five dollars, ridiculous prices for when you want to collect for box sets, guys. So uh, I'm going to try to acquire those later because I just like those type of shows, you know, and um. This was the last one I picked up from um, Half Price. No, not Half Price Books. This was Thrift Books for um, $2.99. So I like movies like that also. Preferably, my movies that I like, which you guys know, are horror and horror movies. But I like to watch other things also that I want to get into or I liked as a kid. So I'm trying to collect that stuff, like Facts of Life, different things like that. You know what I mean? But... You know, I'm definitely a horror fan and I have a nice horror collection. So I'm trying to find a lot more. Like I was happy to get Mausoleum. I love that movie. I can watch that movie over and over. They just don't make good classic horror movies from the 80s. The 80s had great horror movies in the late 70s. You know, they had great horror movies. You know what I mean? That were just very, very, very good. Now, I pay homage to the black and white movies with Boris Karloff and Vincent Price and, and the greats back then also. But I'm more of a 70s baby and I grew up with the 80s and the 90s. And that's when gore movies were pretty, you know, pretty good in my opinion, because that was my era of growing up. So that's all I got for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed my video and Tony's House of Horror. And um, I hope you guys find some great stuff this weekend. I hope you guys find some great movies that you enjoy. Believe me, I do check out your channels. I do work a lot, but I check out uh, people's channels that have subscribed to me or are interested in, in my content that I do. I will subscribe back to you. It's just it's just the, the, the kind thing to do. If somebody subscribes to you, you should subscribe back. You know, sometimes even if they don't have anything up, and they made a channel to like people or watch people's stuff when it comes to movies or whatever you're into, video games or whatever you're into, just subscribe back to them. It's just a way of saying thank you in a way. Even though you might say thank you for watching my video and or subscribing, if they made something up, just go ahead on there and subscribe. Because you never know, they might someday want to do content. And you'll be one of the, the first subscribers that subscribe to them. All right, so you guys have a great weekend. You guys rock out there, and thank you for supporting my channel and liking my content that I show, okay? So I'll see you guys next time. Now, I'm going to try and look again for more movies today probably and tomorrow. It might take a little bit more time because I want to try to get more horror movies because it's becoming to be September, October. So it might be next month. In the middle of next month or somewhere around there. But I'm always here and I will always do uh, content for you guys uh, on my channel that like my channel. All right. You guys take care and I will see you again later. Bye for now.